AP Comparative Government and Politics is an elective course for juniors and seniors who are looking for a challenging but engaging course that views politics, economics, and society from a unique and global perspective. Though the course has existed for decades, C. Milton Wright became the first school in Harford County to run this course in 2014, with over 40 students enrolled for its inaugural school year. Students explore and compare the economic, political, and social structures of six of the world's key players. Those six modern states are the United Kingdom of Great Britain, Mexico, Russia, Nigeria, China, and Iran, all of which gives them deeper insight and understanding of our own structures here in the United States. These six countries are used as the vehicle for studying the six core concepts that appear on the AP Comparative Exam. 5% of the course focuses on introducing students to methods of comparison. Tools like the Consumer Price Index, Gross National Product, and the Human Development Index can give us insight into the social and economic developments in various states. They can also help us distinguish between empirical and normative statements. 10% of the course looks at common public policy issues, human rights, social welfare, the environment, and the work of international alliances like the European Union, World Bank, and the World Trade Organization. 15% of the course focuses on waves of economic and political change, from massive revolutions in Mexico and Russia to violent coup d'etats in Nigeria and Iran. We explore the seeds of change and its lasting impacts. The wave of economic globalization has created a world in which all states are dependent on others for resources and services. Economic liberalization has caused some to thrive and others to wilt. We truly come to understand that in economics, we sink or swim together. Another 15% of the course focuses on the ways that citizens interact with their government and either make their voice heard or have it oppressed. From social demonstrations, the role of interest groups, access to free and open media outlets, and ethnic and religious divisions that can impact policy. 20% of the course looks at how power is designed and the values that various parts of the world hold in high esteem. From the way citizens are socialized, formats for establishing constitutions, and the ways that those in power maintain their legitimacy as the ruling force of a nation. Finally, the largest chunk of the course focuses on the key political institutions of each state and the balance or lack thereof between national and subnational levels. From the shining stage of democratic debate in Britain's House of Commons to the more centrally controlled Guardian Council in Iran. We look at the power and design of executive offices, from presidential systems like Mexico, to parliamentary systems such as the UK, and even dual executive functionality such as in Russia. Legal systems such as China's harsh code-based rule are compared to more theocratic approaches such as in northern Nigeria and Iran. Finally, we examine the election processes that are used throughout the world and how some lead to amazing competition between a wide variety of political parties and ideas, where others seem to cater to only two or perhaps only one dominant political party. In a nutshell, students gather a wide range of knowledge to help them gain a better grasp of global conditions. Students taking AP Comparative Government next year should expect an interactive and engaging learning environment, from row challenges in which students work together to identify critical material from their readings, web-based research and exploration including a class Twitter page, and it all culminates with student-driven webcasts on the six nations of study. Students choose newscast groups and are given the creative freedom to design a news program that explores political, economic, and social contemporary issues. These newscasts become an engaging and often comical venue for learning current events. For example, take a look at this creative and artistic moment from a current AP Comparative student and her group's webcast on Mexico. Trevor Packer, the head of the College Board's AP program since 2003, said of AP Comparative Government and Politics, it's one of the jewels in the AP program's crown. And in response to its small but continuously growing pool of slightly over 20,000 test takers in 2014, he referred to it as our best kept secret. The course is a bridge to over 68 career fields and 20 college majors, including public relations, industrial engineering, media correspondence, and technical writers, just to name a few. For a more comprehensive overview of the course, go to apstudent.collegeboard.org slash apcourse slash apcomparative government and politics. 
current students are providing rave reviews of AP Comparative Government, one such student saying, It opens you up to new and different ways of thinking in different cultures. Another said, Mr. Brogley makes class fun. This is truly an interactive class. Of course you should always pick a class based on its appropriateness for you. This is still an AP class and will certainly require independent reading and studying. For more information, see Mr. Brogley in room 228 or send him an email at michael.brogley at hcps.org. Thanks, and we hope to see you in the fall.